Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another classic Western film. Here on Westerns on the Web, we believe that Westerns are timeless, that these classic Westerns, that these older ones are timeless entertainment fit for the whole family to see, and they have a lot of good values and lessons to teach. And that's why we're sharing them. Westerns on the Web has literally thousands of Western films in our archives that we're planning on sharing, and some of them are extremely rare films. Kick your boots up, relax, get ready for another action-packed Western, and we'll see you after the show. for a ghost town. Yeah, and it looks kind of one-sided, too. Yeah, we got to fix that. Come on. your business in Laramie? I live there. I'm Martha Kincaid. Kincaid, huh? down set your feet in the ground for a spell. I'm all right. My brother Tony, he's hurt. Hey, the only poor cat from disappeared and is in there. Come on, bud. This boy's hurt. Give me a hand. Sure. Here you are, Johnny. Take a sip of this. Yeah, 
That's fine. How do you feel now? I'm all right. What happened to those outlaws? I'm afraid they got away, Johnny. So they asked you why you were coming to Laramie, huh? Yes, I don't understand. It seems as if they didn't want us to go there. Fact is, ma'am, there's nothing to go to. What do you mean? Nobody lives there. Laramie's a ghost town. Ghost town? Mm-hmm. Sure. No wonder we couldn't get the stagecoach to bring us to Laramie. Well, that's right, Johnny. But Dad wrote and told us to come home. See, Johnny and I have been away at school. Oh, Dad wrote he discovered gold. Gold? Gold? Yes. He said we'd all be rich. Towns don't become ghost towns where gold is found. I've known a little log cabin to grow up into a big city where gold is. I think you and your brother better head back the way you came from, man. Go back? You mean you think something's happened to Dad? Maybe not. But after what's happened to us all today, it isn't healthy to go to Laramie. I'm going. And if anyone's hurt my dad, I'll... Good boy, Johnny. Now, what's good about it? Well, that's what any American boy would say. Up and at him. Just like me when I was his age. Why, I remember the time that I captured 500 Indians single-handed. How many? At least five. <laughs> now, ma'am, you better take my advice. Thank you, but Johnny and I are both going to Laramie. I'm very grateful for what you've done. Me too. And when we see Dad, we'll tell him all about you. Won't we, sis? By the way, what's your name? My name's Andrews. Bill Andrews. That's fuzzy. Howdy. Sure mighty glad to meet up with you. Well, goodbye. And again, thanks. Goodbye, man. You know, I got a feeling those kids will never see their dad again. Yeah. Kind of dangerous for that gal and that boy being in a ghost town all alone. Night's coming on, too. Yeah. I feel just like a yellow-bellied worm running out on him. Don't you? Yeah. Hey, listen, don't you ever get tired of talking? And we got enough trouble with sheriffs and marshals trying to put a rope around our neck? Yeah? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Where? Laramie. You dope. So the Kincaid gal and her brother are back. And you let them get to Laramie. Well, two hombres butted in and we didn't have a chance. Must have been the same two that got me back in town. I don't care who it was. It was a long time to make Laramie a ghost town. And I don't mean to let anybody upset the apple cart. Wait a minute. Martha Kincaid and the boy are back. The old man must have sent for them. Maybe he told Martha where the gold is. Roof, you and me and the boys are going to pay our respects tonight to the last of the Kincaids. I guess it has changed for you. No, no, Johnny. Let Fuzzy take those. Yeah, it looks like somebody's mighty anxious to get his hands on something. If only Dad would say nothing would matter. Fuzzy, you go try to rustle up some food. Yeah, huh? You boys have been so kind. Let me do it. That is, if I can find any. <laughs> nothing like a woman's touch to fix up a man's appetite. Yeah, there's nothing like exercise to build up that appetite. Come on, let's clean this place up. Uh, Johnny, uh, can you uh, play that thing? No. But Dad plays, yeah? How about you? Uh, well, folks used to call me Phil and Fuzzy, but... Roof, 
Take trigger and look around. I'll stay with the boys with the signal. Yeah, somebody playing a fiddle. Old Frank Kincaid. Oh, it can't be him. He's dead. Well, he played just like that same kind of music. Yeah, forget that. Dead people can't play a fiddle. I'm telling you, that's old man Kincaid, and it's coming out of that saloon. Well, we'll see. No trigger. Let's be... You forget what the boss said? by vultures. We've got to do something quick. I've got an idea. Let's light the lamps. We saw old man Kincaid's ghost. Ghost? Why, you blubber-headed fools. Where's the girl? Why, she, uh, she... Well, come on, answer me. Her and her brother left town with them two on. Yeah, I reckon we scared them off. A fine mess. The girl probably knows where the gold is. We gotta head them off. Now, you two stay here and keep watching in case they come back. And remember, this ain't no time to be celebrating. Come on. Now you're You broke your dad's fiddle. I found this map inside. What does it mean? Didn't you say your dad discovered gold? Yes. I bet my bottom dollar that map will tell you where it is. Gosh, dad must have put the map inside the fiddle. That's right. Miss Martha, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you. About dad? 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 Go, I'm inclined to think so. You see, those two hombres thought that Fuzzy's fiddle playing came from a ghost. The dad's ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Martin. 
Hey, what this town needs is a good sheriff like, uh, like, well, me. <laughs> now, I think if we have a... a... Oh, uh, Miss Martha, if you're weeping about that fiddle, I, I, I just had to bust it. It's not that funny. Mr. Andrews has just told me about that. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. About this map. Why should Dad want to hide it in the violin? Probably suspected someone tried to get a hold of it. He might even thought his life was in danger. Well, gold doesn't mean anything without Dad. That's where you're wrong, Miss Martha. Well, gold has killed many a man, but it's been the foundation of a big city. Cities that grew from small towns like Laramie. No, ma'am, you owe it to yourself and the men and women that were chased out of Laramie to make a fight of it. I will, Mr. Andrews. Me too. That's good. And tomorrow morning we'll pick up where we left off tonight. The hanging tree outside of town. Good night, Miss Martha. Good night, John. You ready to talk? You, you can't scare us. Uh, you better be careful. You're going to swallow your bridge work. Now, for the last time, who's your boss? Who killed Frank and Kate? All right, then you'll hang. And your boss won't think enough of you to bury your hide. Say, you can't hang us without a trial. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. Fuzzy, I appoint you Justice of the Peace. You'll conduct the trial right out here, now. Justice of the Peace? <laughs> well, try me for a mackerel. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye! The Open Air Army County Court is now in session. Justice Fuzzy Q. Jones presides. Uh, Miss Martha, you and Johnny will be the jury. These two defendants won't confess to nothing. And since I don't want to get on with the hanging, I pronounce these two tadpoles jilly. How's the jury feel about that? Well, get on with the hanging. No, no, don't hang me. I'll tell, I'll tell you everything. That's... My name is Dalton Sykes. I'm the sheriff of Laramie. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy. What goes on here? Well, you're just in time. Unless I miss my guess, these two coyotes are part of the gang that made Laramie a ghost town. What makes you think that? One of them was about to confess when you rode up. Is that so? Yeah. This one here is Billy the Kid. I recognize him right away. Yeah, and, and the other one is his horn-toed looking partner. Billy the Kid, huh? So I've caught up with you at last. No, no, me and him, we were just... Shut up, or we'll hang the two of you right now. Stranger, this is a great day for Laramie. The folks who were forced to leave town on account of these murdering varmints will never forget you. We certainly won't. Howdy, ma'am. Why, if it ain't Miss Martha, and young Johnny Kincaid, why, I'd have hardly recognized you. You've grown into mighty fine youngsters. Thank you, Mr. Sykes. I suppose you know about Dad. Yes, ma'am. Your father was my best friend. That's why I came back to Laramie. To get Billy the Kid and avenge the murder of Frank Kincaid. Joe, ride to Eagle Rock City and tell all the folks who left Laramie to come back. We'll be waiting their return so we can give Billy the Kid and his partner a legal hanging. Right now, we'll keep you two young murdering varmints in jail. Fuzzy, maybe you better give the sheriff a hand taking the men in. Yeah. Oh, no, don't worry about that. I'll take care of them. Well, you got to be careful, Sheriff. You can't trust these two low down on me. Go on, get moving. I'll see you later, Mr. Martin. I'm going fishing. Let me go with you, Mr. Andrews. I can make a swell fishing pole and tackle. 
Okay, Johnny. Maybe I can use you. Joe going to Eagle Rock City? No. But you're going on a little trip for me, Johnny. Well, I thought we were going fishing. We are. It's about time to fish we're after a caught. That Dalton Sykes, the man we're after, Johnny. And this Joe and those other fellas are in with him. Gosh. Well, why don't we get him and throw them all in jail? No proof. Besides the job for a man like a U.S. Marshal to handle legal life. That's where you come in. Now, I want you to take Bear Creek Trail and ride over to Twin Oaks Junction. There you'll find a marshal who's looking for Billy the Kid. Tell the marshal the kid will be waiting for him in Laramie. All right, fast, Johnny. Fish sometimes have the bad habit of swallowing their bait. Go on. mind my breaking in on your little fiesta. Doing a little prospecting? None of your business. Shouldn't you be on your way to Eagle Rock City? Never mind that. Get your hands up and head for that cabin. before your father was killed, he asked me to do him a favor. He said, Dalton, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to promise that you'll take care of my little girl and boy. Then it's true. What's true? What Mr. Andrews said. That Dad suspected he was going to be killed. That's why he hid the map in the violin. Map? Yes, to a rich vein of gold. Oh, no wonder he wanted me to take care of you and your brother. Miss Martha, there are some vultures like Billy the Kid around here who wouldn't stop at murder to get that gold. I know. I suppose that's why Dad was killed. Yes, but you needn't worry now that I'm here. I mean, for you and your brother. Thank you. By the way, uh, where is the map? Mr. Andrews has it. Andrews, huh? May I take a look at it when he comes back? Of course. And while we're waiting for him, won't you come in the house for some tea? I don't mind if I do. How about you, gentlemen? Why, certainly they will. How about you, Fuzzy? Would you like some tea? Tea? <laughs> uh, doctor told me once that uh, tea is a little too strong for my kidneys. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Come on. Tea. Hmm. Why, that Monterey pup's only looking for that there gold. And what the tarnation's keeping Billy?
Go. What's the matter with you? Look. Hey, somebody got us out of here. They're close in here. Hey, get us out of here. We can't stay in here. Close. Hey, help. Come out of here. What are we going to do, Trigger? We've got to get out of here. Oh, shut up. Look. What? Just a cat. Yeah, just a cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. Andrews is Billy the Kid. The boss will be interested to know that. I wonder what could have happened to my hat. I've already sent Johnny for the marshal. Marshal? Why, he'll nab us. Even pin this whole army business on us. And give Sykes a bank at the boot. Not if we grab Sykes first, with plenty of evidence. Uh, he knows about the map, wants to look at it. He does, huh? Where is he? Over at Miss Martha's house, waiting for you. Good. I got an idea. Come on to the saloon. I thought I heard him riding in. Hey, Sykes! Come here quick. I got something to show you. It's important. I'm getting tired of Ruth. Go in and shut him up. Wait a minute. On second thought, I think I'll go in. He was going to confess things a while ago. Find a big surprise. Let's go. Hey, Billy, he's got my hat. Give me that hat. Hello, Billy the Kid. Get that gun. Of this Mr. Andrews is a friend. Not Andrews. Just plain Billy the Kid. Murderer, thief, and backstabber. Miss Martha, there's things I can't explain. There's nothing to explain. I'll say there ain't. Now, where's that map belonging to Miss Martha? I'll hold this for you. A little too dangerous for you to be keeping it right now. Thank you. I'm sticking the two of you in jail. And if the people of Laramie don't come back by tomorrow, I'll hang the both of you without trial. Luke, you got the keys. Lock them up. Let those other men out. Come on. Well, here we go again. Come on. Come on. Hurry up and get us out of here. By the way, are you looking for these? Yeah, give me that. Here's your gun, Frank. What do we do now? we got to explain things to Miss Martha first. They're all mixed up about it. Uh, there ain't a man alive that can explain himself out of trouble to a woman. Nothing like trying. Come on. Well, you 
are you doing here? Now, wait a minute, Miss Martin. You've got to let me explain. It's true I'm Billy the Kid, and I'm wanted by more than one sheriff. And I'm here to help you. Sure. Didn't we help you and Johnny when you first came here? I'd rather not discuss it. Now, see. Come a step closer, and I'll shoot. Yeah, see? A woman just wasn't made to listen. You seem to be very clever, Mr. Billy the Kid. Jails can't hold you. Oh, I've heard a great deal about you. Now I suppose you've killed the sheriff. No, ma'am, I wouldn't cheat land the folks out of that pleasure. For your information, Miss Martha, that phony sheriff is out looking for the gold right now. Here's the real man. You probably heard a lot about Billy the Kid. Most of the things you heard are wrong. Now, as soon as that fellow Sykes finds out he's on a wild goose chase, he'll be coming back looking for that man. What do we do? Fuzzy and I could probably put up a fight, but then we might be destroying evidence valuable to the future of land. Now, I think we'd better wait until, until Johnny comes back with the marshal. Johnny? But I thought he was fishing. <laughs> no, no. That's just our secret. I sent Johnny over to Twin Oaks Junction to fetch the marshal. But you two are placing yourselves open for arrest. <laughs> just no habit of ours, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Right here where we're digging. Joe's gun. I wonder if he's. Bill, get me out of here! What are you from there? I could spot Billy the Kid anywhere. Billy the Kid? That's right, Jenny. But I sent for you, Marshal. You? Why? There is much time to explain. What I'm going to tell you is more important than Billy the Kid. Oh, is that so? Please, you must listen. All right, I'll listen. But it better be good. guns and search them. Billy the Kid, honing in on my game. You ain't so smart. I reckon you're right. Yeah, and I'm going to fix the two of you so you won't bother me no more. Turn around. What, no trial, Sheriff? <laughs> Larry, he's certainly going to the dog. You mean the coyote? I said turn around. Billy? 
something I want to confess to you. Or a kick in the chips. Remember that silver plated gun that you thought you lost? Yeah. And you didn't lose it, I stole it. What'd you do with it? You know, I swapped it even for a quart. They had it now. All right, let them have it. Boys, take him out of here. Well, Billy, I'm glad to see you kept your word. Yeah, I kept my word, all right. I don't know why you didn't let him kill us. But it saved the state out of trouble. Maybe he'd rather see us hang. I don't think so. In fact, Laramie and myself both owe you a vote of thanks. Vote of thanks. <laughs> You, you, you mean you ain't going to arrest us? That's right. Thanks, Marshal. Uh, <clears throat> say, partner, what does a fellow have to do around here to uh, become a justice of peace? <laughs> <laughs> and as I was saying, I promised the good people in Laramie a local government of the people, to buy the people land for the people. And I... No use, Fuzzy. Politics isn't in your line. You ought to hit the trail with me. No, sir. I'm just as a piece of it. Takes me 20 years. Yeah, 20 years is too long for me to wait. Goodbye, Miss Martin. Goodbye, Billy. And thanks for everything. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Billy. Sorry to see you go. Oh, I'll be back someday. Someday in about 20 years when Fuzzy's elected justice of the peace. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Kenhart. interrupted. If you good people of Laramie will elect me just the peace, I will promise to wear that badge of honor to... He called me a pin horn. I'd... Meeting's adjourned. Wasn't that just very enjoyable, wonderful, classic, 
entertainment. And it's timeless. Westerns are timeless. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web. Make sure you check back with us often because we're going to have a lot more Western films for you to view here online for free. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail.